A supplement is not to solve a gap in that individual's diet, like they're deficient in theanine. That's almost an impossibility. But it's to complement, in many cases, a drug. It is to add on, and it also, in many cases, to offset the side effects of the drug. <laughs> Certain celebrities are even endorsing the use of ubiquinol or coenzyme Q10. If you're taking a statin drug, okay, which is to lower cholesterol, then it's not you maybe think about it or you should. You absolutely need to be taking coenzyme Q10 with that drug. The, the, the drug causes a deficiency in ubiquinol or coenzyme Q10. So the point I'm making is in this instance, a diet hasn't caused a lowered amounts of CoQ10. The drug has caused a deficiency in CoQ10. Now you need to offset that deficiency, not stop the drug. Because in many instances, a statin drug or cholesterol lowering agent is amazing for you when it's well diagnosed. And it doesn't, it isn't always, I'm saying in many cases it is, now you got to take the supplement, coenzyme yeah. Q10. It's having the conversation. And again, this is what this podcast is all about. Grabbing these nuggets of information, talking to someone like Bryce, talking to your family doctor and asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. This is your health. This is your roadmap. And that's really what matters.